Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and my craft table. So in this video, I wanted to continue on with the idea of making color swatches. In the last video, I did a watercolor pencil swatch. And Basically, this is watercolor paper and I used a, my Cricut Maker 3 with just a black Cricut pen. In keeping with this particular um, idea, I also made, this is just regular cardstock. Okay, so 110 pound cardstock, and I used my Cricut as well um, and the pen to make a box for each one of my Tim Holtz Distressed Oxide um, inks. And you can see here I have two tens. One is the um, warm, you know, the pinks and yellows, oranges. And then I have one ten that has my greens, blues, and purples and some neutral down here. And so what I wanted to do is make a swatch of what these look like when you blend them out. So then what I thought that I would do is these are all, I have them all in order as to how I have them stored in these tins. And I originally wanted to try kind of like stamping, but I noticed that that just didn't work very well. So I decided that I would um, make just a little color swatch and like this because spun sugar for instance is very very light okay it's really light and to be honest I'm not going to worry if the color gets a little bit outside of the box lines um, you know that'll be kind of an artsy look and I'm just basically blending this in here on the paper. And I can even do a gradient if I wanted to. And I could just go in a little darker on one end if I wanted to do that and keep a lighter hand. And so like this, so that is spun sugar and <laughs> I just noticed that I misspelled sugar. So I'm glad that this is for me in my little crafty space. All right, so this is Kitsch Flamingo and I'm just gonna go light here at the top and then I'm gonna go down. And again, I'm not gonna worry about whether or not it gets outside of those box lines because I think that's a really artsy look. And I'm gonna do worn lipstick. This is a really pretty color. And what I what I think I really like most about this is that I can see not only the color of each particular ink, but also how it compares to the other colors in, you know, in that color family, I guess is what you could say. I'll do one more with this pink brush and then I think I'm gonna move to another another brush here gosh look at that that is a that is a gorgeous color actually maybe i need it in the light a little more there we go so this is picked raspberry it's one of my one of my favorite colors i actually use this quite a bit so it's just a really pretty pink color all right, so I am going to speed this video up for you. This one is Abandoned Coral, by the way. I'm gonna see you now, and so you can just relax and watch some color blending. And then we will wrap it up at the end.
okay. So you can see how like all of these um, yellow, orangey, um, you know, this is, has more of a brown undertone. This has more of an orange undertone. You can see how they all compare. This is more like a, to me, of like a sunny yellow. And then this is more red and that's more orange. So, and the other thing I like is I like the gradient look. So it's a little bit darker in the middle where I start out. And then as I blend outward, it gets lighter. Okay, so we're about halfway done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go on to my greens and blues and purples. Okay, so this is the, this is this bottom here. I love how these are coming out. And another thing that I was thinking about while I was doing this is you can tell which ones, like these two here and these two blues and then that purple, like which ones um, you need to make sure that you tap off first before, um, you put it down on your card panel because some of them come in really, really heavy right away. And then some of them you have to really build up until you get the desired effect that you want to see. So I think this has come out really well and I am super pleased with this effect. So I've got a distressed ink um, swatch of colors. And to me, this is a nice representation of the colors. I don't know that I would end up getting, you know, every color under the sun, but I think this is a really nice representation. Uh, you know, wouldn't mind having a black and maybe a brown, but other than that, I think these are great. I love this. And this would look really good uh, in, a, in a frame. And then, you know, hanging it next to these. So these two guys right here, these little buddies, color swatches. So this is the end of this really short, sweet tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to hit the like button and I'd love to have you as a subscriber if you're not already. So until I see you in the next crafting video, um, got some neat ideas coming up soon. Have a wonderful cup of coffee. Take care of yourself and make sure that you, um, you know, find something fun in your crafty space and do some color swatching. This is, this was really fun. Okay. And so until I see you in the next video, um, happy crafting and enjoy your day. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.